Hey guys, happy Sunday. I am, um, if you can't tell by my face, I am, or by my eyes, I am seriously feeling tired, feeling exhausted, and uh, wanted to come on here and just um, share some thoughts. I can imagine looking back on this video years from now and just like laughing at myself <laughs> um so i was you know I, there was a period of time where i struggled and when i say period of time um it wasn't too long ago i would say maybe we're in the month of april so i'd say maybe late last year excuse me when i just i wasn't sure if i wanted to be married i just i'm turning 41 this year and I just wasn't I don't know that for various reasons I just felt like I don't know if I really want to do that and it wasn't that I felt that way because there wasn't anyone or you know I was trying to psych myself up like okay there ain't nobody so just you know accept this type situation that wasn't it I just seriously felt like, you know what, I don't think, and I'm trying to be really cautious with the words I use, <laughs> but I just felt like, I don't think this will work for me. I hope y'all aren't hearing the fan in the background. There's no light. I hope that makes sense when I say there's no light. So there's no electricity from the company that provides electricity for the community yeah but so i'm on inverter so you know um alternative sources of electricity um when when the electricity that's provided by the government or the company or whomever um when you don't have that you either have a generator or an inverter solar panels whatever you want to use yeah so i use an inverter and um, only certain appliances and equipment can be on um, the inverter. So the AC can't be on the inverter. Um, so I've got the fan. <laughs> and it's making quite a bit of noise. Um, so I really hope it's not affecting your ability to hear what I'm saying. Um, so in any case, trying to remember where I stopped. Um, so yeah i just i just felt like it wasn't for me and i i believe i recorded that i don't think i posted it yet but um i just felt like it wasn't for me and um and i was just thinking when i walked in you know I'm, I'm, um, a friend of mine said you know god needs your faith you know i what i what i would tell god at that time or what i what i told god at the time was it was almost like okay god i don't want this I just, I don't, almost something like that. I don't want it. I don't, I don't. But if you want it, you know, like, this is what I want. But let your will be done type thing. Um, and what she said to me was, you know, he needs, he needs your faith. He needs, he needs you to want it too. Um, and I just didn't, did not want it. I did not want it. I just, I just didn't. Anyway, so fast forward to today. Um, obviously, I've had a change of heart over the past couple of months. Um, trusting God, believing God, um, um, for for a destiny partner, destiny partner, and and other things that I won't necessarily share in this video. <laughs> Um, the point of this video, after this long four or five minute introduction, wow, is um, I wonder if I, I wonder if I can be vulnerable because I think you need to be, I think you need to be vulnerable. You need to be able to be vulnerable, right, with the person you're with, right? I think so totally I want to say totally an experience here um, been in a handful of relationships and 
and um, I would consider myself an experience in matters of the heart. Um, so, but from the little that I do know, I know it requires some sense of vulnerability and opening yourself, you know, bearing your soul, bearing your self to this person. And I, 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 you know, I think about, you know, struggles I've had with self-confidence, self-esteem, and different things that I just feel make me a less than suitable candidate. Um, <laughs> way to put that. A uh, less than suitable candidate for... Um, being in a relationship or being a wife and you know god is working on me so i'm i'm not really stuck or hung up on those things um i just hope and pray that you know when that person comes along I'm able to let down, not, don't want to say let down my guard. Um, I don't know, maybe that will suffice for now. Um, just let him in so he can see, right? I think the fear is, you know, you let someone in and you let them see what you consider to be imperfections. And, you know, I, I, think, I think you tell yourself sometimes that if someone were to see this about me, whatever it is, whether it's superficial or not superficial, whatever it is, you know, if someone were to see this about me, they wouldn't like me or they wouldn't want me or they would think X, Y, Z about me or they turn their back on me, whatever the case may be. And I think we tell ourselves that and, and, you know, in a way, I think it's better than actually having people, you know, turn their backs on you or, you know, say, oh, because of this, I do not want you or I am not interested. And yeah, some of these things are superficial and it's very likely whomever it is will be like, please, that does not matter to me type thing. But I think it's just, it's just kind of scary in a way. Um, you know, and I think that's, it's, it's part of God working on the mind. So you're not hung up on these um, inadequacies. Did I say that properly? Inadequacies? Inadequ inadequ whatever. So <laughs> these um, aspects of yourself that you feel just make you less than, you know. So I'm just, I'm hoping I can be vulnerable. Um, I was, I was in a relationship with this guy. Um, it was very short. <laughs> it was about, do I want to say it was about? I want to say two months, but I don't think it was two months. It was, um, I want to say maybe about six months, but it was long distance. Um, long distance. I want to say about six months. This was like, how many years ago? Um, I think this was 2006. So about 14 years ago. 2006, we are in 2024. Yes, so that's eight one. So that was about eighteen years ago, right? Um, wow. Wait, was it two thousand and six? No, it must have been two thousand and sixteen. Two thousand and sixteen. <laughs> so that was uh, eight years ago. About eight years ago. What was it twenty thirteen? Whatever. It was some time ago. And um, so I was in a relationship with this guy, long distance. And I could not handle him looking at my face. It just, I couldn't handle it. Um, and it was something he wanted to do. <laughs> but it was something that, it didn't weird me out. I just, 
I have, and I think I'll probably talk about this over time. I've, I've, you know, God is helping me in that area, but I've, I've struggled with, you know, how I look. And I think other people struggle with that to some degree. Anyway, so I struggled with how I look, struggled with various things. Um, and the thought that he was looking at things I considered to be imperfections, things that I wasn't happy about, things that I felt made me a less than suitable choice. Um, you know, it just felt very uncomfortable. And I don't think I was ever at ease having him look at me. Um, I rarely ever, so we rarely ever <laughs> made eye contact because I couldn't so so maybe I can definitely I could definitely look at him while he was looking away you know so I'm talking to him or maybe he's a far off but even you know the moment I see that he's actually looking at me I just felt a sense of unease um and I, I remember he tried he tried to to make me feel better he tried to convince me as best as he could that what I was thinking was not reality but you know that's the thing with the mind right it doesn't matter what anybody else says to you what you believe in here is is the gospel truth as far as you're concerned you know so um it really takes you know spending time in the word and just um the renewal of the mind daily so Am I there yet? Am I cured? <laughs> no. Um, but I'm better. I'm better. And I really hope that when, you know, hubby, destiny partner, whatever you want to call him, when, when he shows up, I trust that, you know, what God is, the pruning and the the shaping, everything that he's doing um, will make me ready, ready to um, be vulnerable and let this person in. And, and, and you know what, as I'm saying this, I'm thinking, you know what, I feel like with the right person, with the right person, it will come naturally. It will come naturally. And I think even the if there is unease with this person, I think it's something that will naturally just take care of itself. And I don't know if that's if that's um, naive. I don't know, but I just I just feel like I just feel like there's no need for me to worry. You know, none. What? No need to be anxious. One of the things I went into this year with um, that our pastor prepared us for starting last year was no anxiety do not be anxious for anything but with prayer and with supplication make your let your request be made known to the lord right um and and so glory be to god you know when i find myself in situations where i feel like i'm wondering <laughs> wondering or worrying i'm like mm -mm, nah we we nix that we nix that in the bud you know and um god has been good god has been faithful and i'm excited and optimistic and looking forward to meeting this person and uh really looking back on these videos and going <laughs> you know just laughing and just having a, a yeah having a good laugh um because i know i know everything will be fine i know everything will be fine so yeah i'm sharing this everything will be fine okay so i'm gonna go now um <laughs> I'm gonna go now. I hope y'all are having a fabulous day. I hope you guys are spending it with people you love, uh, people who love you, and people who are able to show their love for you, and you're able to love them. Um, you know, we all see and accept love in different ways and interpret love in different ways. And I just pray that, you know, we are with people who are able to receive love from us and give us love and show us love, you know. Um, 
Yeah. So, and to the one who is love, um, we give him all the praise, we give him all the glory for this glorious day that he has created. All right. Step into the light. Bye.